everyone in the previous session uh, what you have seen is we have applied all the patches required uh, for our upgrade from you know, 12c to 19c and also have run the finalize and cut over and clean up are completed successfully uh, now what we need to do is so uh, we need to run this particular script this will generate uh, appsutil.zip file and what we need to do is copy this particular file to the database node and uh, run the auto config so why not we perform this activity the first step is I'm just running on the application tar so it will take for a while so let me pause the session so once this uh, uh, script generates this appsutil.zip file uh, we will copy this file to the database node in my case both the application and database are on the uh, same machine so that's the reason why what am I doing is I'm copying this file to temp location and going to you know oracle home and copying the appsutil.zip file and i say unzip dot uh, zip file so we need to give minus o because already appsutil zip file is there so now we need to run the auto config so for that what i do i run this auto config right uh, so this will take for a while so once this is completed we also have to run the auto config on the application tab so for that what i do i come to advanced scripts home and run this auto config but we need to wait for database to get completed oh it's got completed so now you run auto config on the application so it, this will take for a while so why not i pause this session the next step is we need to create the initialization parameter setup file so this has to be run on the uh, database so we need to execute uh, this particular scripts and this will create uh, three files which will be later on used in the 19z upgrade so we just have to safeguard these files so what i do is i go to the database node and uh, run and i pass this parameter so database home is being set so I set this Oracle home and run this scripts. Yeah, so it is it will generate uh, three files. So it will take for a while. So you can verify. You can go to Oracle home and verify them. Okay, why not I pause this session is taking some time yeah it got completed so now I can you know I can go to this particular location and I can see that you know you can see that the three files are you know created so why not we just capture this screenshot as a reference right uh, so these are the three files which are which are got created right so we have seen that these are the three files which are created later on we are going to you know uh, use it for different purpose the next step is we need to install oracle uh, database so just see that your vnc server is been configured if not you need to uh, install this particular package and also we need to disable the uh, the firewall i just provided the steps you can just verify it so uh, there is a little difference how you are going to install 19c in the earlier version we used to uh, now we used to, used to run the run installer uh, after uh, after unzipping the software but here's the go in the 19c what you need to do is you need to copy the software to the home uh, to whichever home you want and then unzip it and then run the run installer so here are the steps first you create a directory as 19.0 uh, where you will copy the software so then go to your software location copy this uh, this is the 19.3 software copy to this location and unzip it and then run the run installer so why not we do as we go so i go here i created the folder and i have my 19.3 19.3 yeah so what i do i copy this folder to this particular location and uh, after copying i go to that location unzip it then i need to run the run installer
Oh, it's taking for a while. Um, you know what, what? Okay, okay, it is completed. So now I just uh, unzip it. Okay. So next one is we need to run the run installer. So let me go through the steps. Okay, we have to run the run installer. So I will go to the VNC session. Okay, so what I do, I just uh, first exit it. I have to give exhaust plus and uh, go to Arado and export the display. So here my uh, display, this is to for running the graphics, right? And now I go to D02 Oracle DAO 19.0. Oh, let me just verify whether the installation is, oh, it is still getting extracted. So let's wait for some time. Yeah, the extraction is completed. So we are all set to install the 19.3 software. right because we have set the display all set so we need to just install the software uh, say next say next say we wanted to install the enterprise edition and we wanted to install in this particular location so we'll say next Oh, okay so the location is wrong so why not we give the correct location so let's say okay say next Uh, okay, we will just uh, remove this like this and now let's click X. Okay, uh, so specified base contains existing central inventory D01 Oracle inventory. Are you sure you want to continue? Let's see if any files are there. Otherwise, uh, we can continue. Uh, so now I'll go to D01. Uh, okay, let it continue because we have 19C inventory. So no, wor no worries, you can just say, say continue. So let us uh, install on uh, as a DBA as a group. Next. We'll start the installation. So it will take for a while. So why not I pause this session. The installation is completed. It is asking us to run the root.sh. So why not we run the root.sh as a root user. So I connect as root and run it, run that particular file, it is completed. Now what you need to do, you need to come here and just press OK. So with this, the installation of database is completed. The next step is we'll create the 19C environment file. Initially, we can create environment file later on, uh, you know, uh, when we run autoconfig, uh, uh, two of these files will be created. For the time being, what we do? We just uh, go here. We have the environment file. Uh, what you do? You make this file as 19. 19C. Open that particular file. And wherever 12.1.0.2 is there, make it 19.0.0. Right. So that will be our. 19c environment file so for any uh, you know, for whenever you want to run 19c environment file so this is the file we need to run uh, so just let me uh, you know summarize what we have done uh, is that you know we applied all the patches required and then we have installed the uh, oracle home uh, and the next step what we are going to do is we are going to upgrade from 19.3 to 19.12 uh, by downloading uh, you know, this below particular patch thank you